My name is Arnold Hau. Uh, Dan's name is Kryptonic Ace. Yeah, that's, that's me. I started dancing about 14 years, when I was 14 years old. That's when I started dancing and I really didn't know much about dance. I viewed social media a lot, inspired by online videos. And till I got friends, like a family, a group of people who actually wanted a spare person to dance. And they were like, Ace, can you just come stand here for a second? We see if our routine is okay. And I just pull up, I stand there and wow, they run it down. They see me doing it, they're like, so you can dance. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't dance, I don't dance. Like, no, 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 we have to put you, we have to put you. From there, that's when the spotlight for me started to appear. So those people were called Yasha. It was the first organization I worked with. So they were called Yasha. I worked with that organization for about two years, two years, and they built me to what I am today, taught me a few, a few, a few, a few steps on how to go since I really didn't know anything, and I would thank them for that. Yes, those are part of my friends, also still my family. Yeah, and until then I got more exposure. I put myself into more competitions, more battles. Uh, that's when like things like church competitions, battle rival schools, international competitions, getting more exposure. That made me more free, more energetic, and I started owning what I was till now. So, so, so yeah, that, that was me. Now I'm a professional dancer for eight, eight years, eight years dancing. So yeah, that's me. Uh, I'm an all styles dancer, basically. Uh, the styles will be hip hop, afro, I do uh, b boy, contemporary dance, I also do zumba, well, that's for gym, <laughs> yes, rumba, yeah, any other dance that's African, because we mostly did some African shows. They would wear a few, you know how African attires are, but those times it wasn't very nice because people would see my color and they were like, but how are you going to portray this? But the confidence well, brought me, so I'm an all styles dancer. Yes. And why I dance? I dance because I want to inspire people. I want to send a message. Despite me liking to be a dance or loving dance itself, I noticed from the very moment I started dancing that I inspired people. People saw something within me. So if I'm able to do that, I'm like it's success for me. I inspired someone. I'm able to be someone's role model. So yeah, yeah that's why I dance. Yes, quite a few. I, I once won a competition. It was called First Game Dance Battles. From there, it blew my mind. I didn't know I could also win with much focus, determination. Uh, the responses were, you were, uh, um, there's this word, the statement they said to me, it really hit me. They were like, you are a true inspiration to, to the dance world, which also brings back to the question, why do you dance? You see, it related now, it actually made sense to why I dance, that I'm a true inspiration, I'm there to inspire. People actually love me. People want to see more of that. I am there for a reason, for someone's reason. Despite me enjoying what I do, loving what I do, it's now my profession. Someone is like, there's our guy there. So yeah, yeah, that's why. Some of the lessons I've learned is without hard work, really as a dancer and especially in the arts industry it it won't really pay off hard work pays 
faith comes with action. And that's what I could say with people. Faith comes with action. If you believe in something, do it. You see? Do it. I believed ah, somewhere, somewhere out there I could dance. I never expressed it, but I believed until I put in the effort until well, those guys were like, hey, dance. And more work, more hard membership. Like, you need to be there with others. Yeah. I like uh, the exposure. One, you get to meet a lot of different industries. Despite your industry, if it's dance, you can link dance itself with other industries. Like, as for me, I was only a dancer, but I, uh, modeling industry is like, we want you to choreograph. It made no sense for me. I'm like, this is a modeling industry. And theaters were acting. They're like, we need you to choreograph a scene. So I found that my part, my profession can play a whole lot of areas. So I liked that, the diversity that it can bring, you see. I get to see people, meet a lot of faces, and you know, with more knowledge means more, 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 more power to, to, to do actually what you, you think you, you, you can do. If you try to do more projects, you know, with the exposure you now have, it's more resources, more more people to talk to. I have this to do, so how can we do it? You get a chance to express what you you want to do also, rather than in the industry. In this industry, we mostly do things for other people. If it's a competition, you have to do what they're saying. You have to, but there's no time where you express what you really feel. As for me, I've always moved with this motto. It's called art is life, dance is language. So when I dance, I express language. I'm trying to speak, I'm trying to send a message. Hence that inspiration I was talking about, you see. So, so yeah, <laughs> yeah that, so that's it. The challenges, it's most like challenges that we face, especially when it comes to different types of competitions. Their requirements, probably some of them, they don't really link up with the motto you move with. And sometimes it's, 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 it's hard, it's hard, but you, now you would have to do what you have to do. But I am trying to avoid that now. When it's a no, it's a no for me. So I now move with my own motto and my, my brand linking with other people's brands. If it follows the, 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 the perspective I'm moving with, it's a Christian perspective, by the way, because there's some things, some things that are just necessary. That's when you see these a lot of disastrous things. Oh, what can I probably say? <laughs> we can just continue, but I'm sure you you you, you get what I am saying because there's stuff they will say, do this, do that, and for publicity wise, you feel it also this this doesn't work it ruins your image it ruins your brand also because at the end of the day those people have the higher power to say okay we're done with you thanks for that you you can go your way we i'm left alone but that media is out there i'm still part of them some way somehow even if they let me be you see so it's 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 not right yeah That's a very good question. As I was saying, to me, art is life, dance is language, right? I am a messenger. God gave me this talent. So the role God plays, as for me, the role God plays here is I have to be that sim his vessel, right? Since I inspire people to like what I am doing, they would want to know how do I do it. And there's another part of me that people don't know that before I compete, before I do anything, I actually go down and pray. 
and say, God, I thank you for this talent. Most of us were gifted with these talents, but we take advantage of them because, well, we have free will. They are within us. It's like, it's us, it's ours, right? But we forget to acknowledge who really gave us the talent. So I always do that. I even <laughs> danced to Christian songs once. Once upon a time, here in my practice sessions, just to see how I would express the same hard work when I were to go in towards a competition, towards something, but expressing it for God. There's a time when I was in the studio, I was alone, there was no one there. And then mostly since I play hip hop, R&B, what's this, Afro, what, what, I changed my playlist. I was like, imagine I was in the church. I put, the, I like Joe Barnes. Yes, Joe Barnes' Christian songs, those are very nice songs. I played that song, then I just portrayed myself there, and boom, we started dancing. Alone, I don't know how I danced, because I danced even harder than I actually practiced. And yeah, I actually danced for God. My way of thanking him, that well, this is a talent. Same focus I put when I'm on stage looking at the people, looking at everyone try to compete that's the same focus i had every time i did those rehearsals but most wisely was prayer so god plays that part for me he is my my strength to be the message that i wanted to portray to people while i also do that it actually helps me win souls to him rather than every time someone is like so how do you do that instead I could also turn them to God while also teaching them how to dance up. Just like, you know what? I pray every day. God is amazing, man. He did this, you know, before I dance, I could. So imagine if they were to do the same thing. Before they'd be like, I want to be a dancer. Ah, so Ace is saying, Father, DNA, slowly but surely, he gets my role. I'm playing for him. I get my part, I am playing. You see, the message is being sent, everything is. Hence, he has blessed me with success all the time. My losses have been <laughs> a few, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. I would say in a few years time, I would like to see myself as a true expert in my art, in the professional art I call the dance industry. I would uh, really like to immerse myself and look for opportunities to provide as much efficiency as possible to any organization I'll be working with at that moment of time then maybe in a few years later again, during that period, I'll be now a key, a key, key in my role. So I'll be able now to also teach the experiences of that in different departments, uh, different industries, also even the industry of mine, since I would have gained my professionalism to, to boost that efficiency as possible, yes. That's, that's how I see myself.